While most companies were grabbing headlines at Mobile World Congress this year for flashy new folding, unrolling, or LED-laden smartphones, Qualcomm was busy showing off all shiny new chips that will be powering not these smartphones, but the next generation of devices. I'm James Bruce with MakeUseOf.com, technology simplified. Join me as we talk to Qualcomm about an exciting new chip that might finally solve the problem of not being able to get a signal by using AI. Welcome to the world of communication chips, specifically the Snapdragon X75 5G modem RF system, the ultimate benchmark in device connectivity. This teeny tiny chip is a powerhouse of 5G technology, introducing a new architecture and a new software suite to push the boundaries of connectivity in terms of coverage, latency, power efficiency, and mobility. It's the first ever communications chip that's ready for 5G Advanced, which will be powering the next stage of 5G evolution in all areas such as vehicles, PCs, industrial Internet of Things, and more. But what would this new chip be without some sort of AI embedded inside it? That's right, it's also the first modem RF system with a dedicated hardware tensor accelerator, the Qualcomm 5G AI processor Gen 2 with two and a half times better AI performance compared to Gen 1, resulting in smart optimizations to achieve better speeds, coverage, mobility, link robustness, and location accuracy. All of which I think you'll agree are quite nice to have in a smartphone. But don't just take my word for it. We sat down with Sunil Patel, VP from Qualcomm's product management team, for a chat about precisely what X75 means for end users. Sunil, thank you for joining us. In terms of connectivity, will the X75 chip bring mobile gaming more in line with PC gaming? Uh, yeah, definitely. So if you, the X75 platform uh, is introducing several new features such as, uh, you know, higher carrier aggregation in downlink, which is higher data rates. Uh, also uplink, uh, the data load or up, data speeds in uplink will be higher as well, again, because of carrier aggregation, uh, MIMO in uplink. Uh, so that overall higher data rate would mean smoother experience for users as they play, in, they play gaming. Uh, another aspect is we're trying to, we're introducing a lot of features to improve coverage as well. Uh, again, that would mean uh, smoother experience, coverage, wherever, you know, it's harder, the signals are harder to get to. Uh, so, again, X75 will definitely improve performance of gaming. How about users who don't have access to 5G in their area? Yes, so one of the areas, in fact, if you, if you look at our announcements of X75, uh, there are a lot of coverage-related enhancement that we are introducing. Uh, one of them is this AI-based uh, beam management, and it's specifically targeting, you know, expanding millimeter wave coverage uh, at cell edge, really re improving reliability of millimeter wave at cell edge. Uh, that's just one of the features that would again improve, you know, provide millimeter wave uh, coverage where, let's say, today it may not be uh, feasible. Uh, in addition to that, there are features like, uh, you know, uplink MIMO, uh, which helps with higher data rate as you get closer to the cell, but as away from the cell, that actually helps extend the coverage uh, for the user. So, yes, definitely it helps. So what exactly can users expect to change in the way that they use their smartphones with X75? Would that mean better location accuracy at a music festival, for example? Uh, so X75, uh, like, like I mentioned, it will provide users with uh, higher data rate, you know, eventually really effectively leading to better user experience as they, as they use different applications on their devices. Uh, but another aspect of it is we are changing or we are introducing new architecture, which also makes it more power efficient. So the user should be able to enjoy their applications uh, at, you know, at a better user experience, but also for longer period of time. Uh, we are also introducing, you know, AI-based uh, location accuracy. 
uh, which effectively in, you know provides and I mean you you ask like how it can be used in music festival for example uh, you know with with AI based uh, you know location technology the accuracy improves so you know as you're trying to locate your you know family member for example it will give you better accuracy and be able to you know track your you know friends or family members uh, more accurately faster <laughs> will we see x75 in other technology like uh, automobiles for example in the future yes definitely so uh, you know x typically every Every year, we introduce you know new modem, uh, you know new modem platform, and and the goal is that this modem platform enables different use cases. So I know you mentioned auto, for example. Uh, again, all the capabilities that I mentioned can be utilized by auto. In addition to that, there are features like uh, you know cellular V2X, which can be taken advantage of in auto use cases. Uh, also, these lower latency uh, and types of use cases can be in, they can enable IoT, uh, XR. All these different use cases will also be enabled with X75 platform. Of course, living out here in the middle of nowhere means I have yet to see even the glorious benefits of decade-old 4G technology, never mind 5G. Still, can't complain. I remember when 56 kilobits per second was bleeding-edge tech, and you had 640k of memory to make elite work. Until next time, thanks for tuning in and joining us to find out all about the Snapdragon X75.